Here's five tips that you can use to help you in your campaigns. First, pick your fights. We all know that in its core, this game is a horde shooter, but if you want to have an easier time, it is just smarter to pick your fights. If you have enough experience with the game already, you probably have experienced having enemies calling reinforcements over and over again. So to avoid this loop, it's better to just pick your fights. Second, ignore the meta. I know I make build videos, but that's just for me to share my builds that you can have fun with. I myself am anti-meta, since for me it makes the game so bland and uninteresting. So go and make your own build that you're effective with, and be damn good with it. Third, have a counter for enemy types in your missions. Now this might sound counterintuitive, since I just said, ignore the meta, but you should also make your build useful. Nobody wants to have a teammate who ran four support weapon stratagems, not even dropping them for their teammate. For clarity, let's make an example. Let's say my main issue in bot missions are the hulks and tanks. So what I, what I do is I bring in rocket pods or rail cannon or whatever they may be. If I struggle against the AT-80 walkie thingies, I run explosive payload primaries like the scorcher or the jar shotgun. You get the point. If you don't know what possible counter are against enemy types, there are guides out there or if you really want to research on your own, I would suggest doing it on lower difficulties. That's why it's easier to isolate fights against said enemy types. Fourth, use crouch or prone more often. For me, this is necessary when you're fighting bots especially. For bugs, it's kinda meh. It's just customary for most of us to run and shoot since you're trying to survive. But you know what makes you survive more? Accuracy. If you get to destroy the bots trying to kill you, then you you can get out of there faster. You know what they say, the best defense is a good offense. Also, when you're proning, you get to avoid a lot of shots too, especially the rockets. And we all know how annoying rockets are. Last and not the least, if you happen to get aggro, pull them away from the objective. This happens a lot in our games. A teammate accidentally pulls aggro while they're sneakily trying to do the tap-tap revolution on the terminals, and then they just run to you asking for help. Yes, that is viable, that you can help, but it is just more ideal to let the guy doing the objective finish it first and then help, rather than having a standoff at the objective and then you'll probably end up losing anyway because they'll just have a cycle of reinforcements over and over again. And also, you can't focus on fighting anyway since your attention is torn between do I finish it or do I fight? So it's just better to don't pull enemies to the objectives. Well, that's 5 tips I could share from the top of my head and that's coming from my own experience. If you have more tips that you want to share, make sure to comment down below. More tips and more tricks make us more effective in spreading democracy. With that being said, go and spread freedom, Helldivers. divers.